So hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So tonight <laughs> I've come up to a local woodland. It's actually 24 degrees and it's absolutely boiling and I decided to hike to one of the top of the local hills to try and get a sunset shot. <laughs> so there should be some interesting places for photographs on the way. So join me on my journey tonight and let's see where the journey takes us. Well, I was hoping to have got some shots of this waterfall, but there's not a lot of water in it. And when I was up here in the winter, there was hardly any greenery. So you could see right up the hill. So obviously <laughs> I'm now here in the summer and it's a completely different view and try and give a panoramic view of what I can see. And as you can see, the woodland goes all the way up. Somebody's put a chair there. And then the other side of the bridge, the waterfall flows down. It's an absolute beautiful area. Well, <laughs> this is probably what you call one of these epic failures. I've climbed an hour and a bit up to the top of Glen Arkin and uh, to get a sunset and as you can see up here on the right hand side the sun has set behind that mountain so I'm absolutely not going to get the image I thought I was going to have so I shall I think I'll chill, have a coffee, and then see if there's any images I can get of the loch. Because this is Loch Erne, and the mountains that you can see up on the left and to the right is Ben Varley and Stuka Croin. So yeah, <laughs> I missed the sunset because of the mountain. So, I'm going to have a coffee. Well, I've got my cookie and my coffee and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I was going to say I'm annoyed with myself, but I'm actually not. <laughs> but this is all part of the learning process. So I know never to come up to this area for a sunset <laughs> because the mountain hides the sun. There's some beautiful scenery, some nice trees. The only problem I've got now is for the local fir trees. <laughs> And the Scots pines that are round about me, there's no light on them. So it's going to be a pretty dull image. So the only thing I can do to, to save my long walk is to try and get some shots in a loch from various angles tonight, just so this is not a wasted trip. Um, I was here just after our um, first lockdown. In the winter, we came up with friends when we were allowed to travel within your council area. And I have to admit, this is probably a better location in the winter because I've, I've walked through so many ferns. I'm going to have to do a tick check when I go home because it was like coming through Fern Gully, coming up the side of the hill. And uh, I'm actually sitting on old ruins. So this used to be the old village of Morel. And the inhabitants of the village in the early 1800s 
decided um, to move down to the side of Loch Ern, um, to the port of Ern, which has now been renamed and everyone else will know it nowadays as St Fillins. So this is an old ancient village. Um, the good thing is there was nothing bad about the people moving, they just decided they'd built new houses down at the port and the whole village decided to up sticks and move down to lower ground and you know what, I don't blame them whatsoever. So what I'll do is, I'll finish my coffee, I'll have my cookie and I'll see if I can rescue any images um, from this wee hike tonight. I've climbed up to this higher viewpoint from where I was sitting and I've got a better view down Loch Ern. So what I've done is I've got these trees in front of me as part of the composition. I've got F11, a 60th of a second and ISO 250 only because the foreground's getting really, really dark because the sun's behind the mountain. But I've got quite a nice wee composition. Um, I won't be talking through many photographs just because I'm going to be against time now because I've probably got 30 minutes to get back through the worst part of the forest where it's going to be really, really dark before I lose the light. <laughs> Because I also forgot my head torch, <laughs> which I left in the house charging. So yeah, it's been one of those nights. So I've done a, co a bracket compensation here. And I've bracketed my images with five different exposures. So what I'll do is when I go home, because I'm not needing to use a filter tonight, because it's not that bright, I'll uh, bring the sky in uh, later on and I'll bring the foreground because that'll be overexposed and I'll get detail. So it should make an okay image. What I'll do here is I'm just turning the camera around and what I'm trying to do here is that all I'm trying to do is take a photograph of the old village ruins. So I'm just focusing in. I'm keeping the same settings for now. I'm a 60th of a second, F11 and ISO 250. I'm just going to check that I've got a bright exposure. Good. So I've taken a composition here of the two trees with a loch. I've now focused in on the ruins of the old village. I've got a forest in front of me and then I've got the loch and all the water. The mountains, are, the hills are pretty well lit up over there. I'm just trying to see if I can zoom in just to get something a little bit different. There's a bit of a haze in the horizon just as the sun's coming behind that hill and it's hitting Ben Vorlich. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to focus into the middle of that, those, that forest. I'm still at F11. I've still got my bracket exposure on because I'll get the detail in the sky when it's been underexposed. And I have, and actually, <laughs> that's a really nice image. So I think... I'm going to struggle for compositions because I don't have the light. Um, and these fir trees and the Scots pine would have been really smart if I'd just been probably half an hour earlier, I could have got quite a few shots of the trees because the trees up here are really quite spectacular, some of them, because they're really ancient. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take a couple of more shots of the ruins and I'll see if I can get some textures in the stones. And then I'm just going to pack up and head down and try and get halfway down the hill before it gets really, really dark. Wasn't I meant to lie? There's a nice um, pinkiness on the water here, so I'm just going to try this. I was, I was actually walking back to pack up. So 
what I might do is turn the camera into portrait mode and just check this image out. Yeah, that might be quite a nice image. So I've got the old wall and the fir tree in the foreground. And then I've got the, I'm just going to focus in on the tree. So I'll take that shot. And then I think it's the sky that's going to make this a nice image because if I use exposure compensation again, there's actually some nice colour starting to come into the sky. So you're getting some blues and oranges and yellows. Um, what I might do is try that shot from a landscape point of view. I've still got to focus on the trees, so that should be okay. I'll take my shots, my five shots, and let's see how that turns out. Right, the sky is really nice, so when you do a real underexposure, the sky's nice. There's a tree coming up on the right, but it looks as though the tree's sticking, when it, you've got a silhouette, it looks as though the tree's sticking out the side of the hill. So, right. I don't think I'm going to get that much more here now. Um, what I'll do is I'll head back and if I get any photo opportunities on the way back, um, we'll see what images we can get. <laughs> well, it's been one of the nights, so I'm going to pack up just now um, and I'm going to try and beat the light so I can get down the hill safely and that way I can see where I'm going because it's a really dark ancient wood that I've got to walk through so pretty in the daylight but because I don't have a torch it might be pretty tricky in the dark um, so thank you, this is probably going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever done um, I've learned a big lesson tonight <laughs> About everybody talks about when you want to go for a sunset shot, you go a couple of hours early. Well, the one thing I didn't do was factor in that mountain and the sun disappearing behind the mountain because we still do have some light. What I will do though is if I get to the car and there's a nice sunset, I'll take some images and I'll share them at the uh, through the video. When I reach out, you will hold on. Was it a rainbow falling? Was it a rainbow falling? When I touch you, it will break through. Was it a rainbow falling? Was it a rainbow falling? Oh, was it a rainbow falling? So, thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You know it's free. And if you press the bell notification, that'll let you know the next time I post a video. So thank you, and here's to the next video. <laughs>